Good morning, everyone. It's me, Lee, with Victorian Dreams by Lee. Yes, it's really me, Lee. So today I have um, two pink Christmas Santa Claus junk journals um, that I want to show you. And so I'll give you the links of where I got the images. Um, so yeah, so uh, I'll just set them right here so you can look at it and then I'll tell you the main people that I got them from. So I don't know how to pronounce this except for modernistic. Um, I will put the links down below in my uh, down below in the captions whatever and so yeah so this is the main junk journals and that I got and it's on sale right now I uh, just went and looked so um, and then I added stuff that I had bought previous from other people um, like um, I added some ephemera or some little girl pictures from pixie dust so um, so I want to show you the outside I'm only going to go through one because they're more or less almost the same but I wanted to show you the outside I love how the pink the trim is the the um, ecru then pink and then ecru and it just matches this really beautifully and and also and then I'll open this just to show you that's the one page layout and of course I did the pink um, string but that's just the one page layout there's so much you can do for this and also while I'm showing you I like to make my journals square right here it just fits better for me so if you take when you're scoring and you go to the middle and you go one tick and one tick and score it and then it has a beautiful square like a true book um, binding on it the middle is not the middle is all the all, just the outside sheet all the rest is um, just you know right down the middle so and then this one is the Santa Claus isn't it beautiful and where his pom-pom was is I just put a pink flower I really really want my um, journals to be used so I don't know what this person that I'm going to gift it to I don't know how they store their stuff so I like them flat sometimes depending on, on the type of person I'm giving it to you know crafters may just keep it as a keepsake because they know how much work we put into it in time but when I give it to family members or friends I want them to really use it so and then let me open this one and show you the page layout of the this is landscape but isn't that just gorgeous the things you could do with this and then there's a peek inside that one but let's go through this one um, but they're more or less the same uh, I do want to give a shout out to Amy um, I follow her on YouTube and on TikTok and I said to her I just you may want to put this on two speed because I'm actually going to enjoy making this video and showing you usually I'm really fast and I'm really fast about crafting I only want to take up to two hours on a whole project and I kept saying my projects are not as full I, t I said to her texting I don't know her personally one day I hope to chit chat with her but anyway um, and I'll give her link down below um, also because I really get inspiration from her but I said you know you put a lot into it I wish mine did that and she said to me something like I'm trying to totally remember the full words but she said I keep working on it until I'm happy with it for myself to keep for myself and sometimes I'm like oh maybe I'm a paper hoarder or just want to get through something too fast and I don't want to put too much into it <coughs> of course I don't sell any of mine so maybe that's why I just give so much maybe if I was selling it I would put 
a lot more into it um, because oh my god if you paid money for it then it has to be over the top so I wonder um, with saying that I have thought I have an Etsy store that I've never opened but I created it a few years ago I've never put anything in it would you buy this and no I'm, I'm really really serious would would someone buy something of mine because I mean that would be a blessing not because of the money but because you liked it enough to want it okay I'm just rambling okay Amy does sell her stuff and it's beautiful so anyway this is a pink Christmas junk journal and so let's just go through it I put trim and I like how it um, looks like a tuck spot but actually I made a belly band and I made the little cards and I actually used uh, Shabby Art Boutique uh, cards too so I used three different people but the main thing is this modernistic so I made a card and then look when you size it down this is what you get so you can really write a lot in here and look it it can be your Christmas cards and then here look at this beautiful belly band this is um, pixie dust uh, paper here look at that belly band where I layered it twice and that's so pretty I am gonna go through this so put me on two speed and then um, I made an envelope so that you can keep receipts and printed stuff I don't know who I got this one from or this one but it just went real well even though everything is 99% pink I still added to it it's not going to take very long because there's only a few different tuck spots most of this is really uh, for journaling so isn't that page beautiful and there you go so this is right here so I love it and this is just copy this is a uh, car heavy cardstock and then the rest is uh, copy paper I have a this is pixie dust and look how you can have a little card and then inside this I made a tag I used Anna Griffin's tag that went to one of her kits and I made a belly band and then here is these two are from Shabby Art Boutique and it just I realized now before when I was making stuff it was only that person's images and I didn't add anything else to it but when I was watching Amy I realized wow she's adding so many different people and it just gives it a whole different flair look at these pictures it looks like you go went to a photo booth and that's what I love about that of course I'm gonna make something else with these but it just went really well with this there is quite a bit of pixie dust um, in here this one um, so that went here and then it's just beautiful I made a tuck spot I bought this little um, piece off of Ali or Timu and it was supposed to be a tussy mussy cone but it's the perfect tuck spot it fits in a corner and it's just perfect so here's some more pieces this is from pixie dust and look how it made a card instead of um, chopping them individually and then I put pink right here to get rid of the white but here is where you can write here's just a little photo here is a gift tag I made um, isn't that gorgeous that Santa um, and here is a card I made from just paper from Shabby Art Boutique and it says Merry Christmas and stuff on it so that's really cute so I'm really pleased with this um, here's some more pages isn't that beautiful 
Look at that. I mean, that's just too cute. And then I did take, uh, I did take, um, and look, even the pink. This is all pink. <laughs> so I took cardstock, the heavy duty cardstock, and I put two together and I glued it on the outside and then I, you know, cut it, punched it, and then it makes a pocket. And here is, look how the pink junk journal paper is just gorgeous. And I just uh, made a tag. And so that goes in there. It doesn't have to. You could leave it out. But I just stuck it in there. And of course, my trims are all pink. So this is the middle. This little sand, this little snowman had a hat right here. Here's the hat. But look how I stuck the flower on it. And it's just too cute. Isn't it? Oh my gosh. So I felt like, well, there's not enough uh, journaling spots to me, even though there's quite a few. So I took the landscape, no, I took the portrait. Nope, it is the landscaped. And I just scored it down the middle and I trimmed to cut it to the size. And look how it's got lace on it and movement. And, uh, just printed papers for um, more notes and stuff. So I thought that was really pretty. And then another little picture because you get so many. I do want to put two little buttons on the end of these or some kind of paper buttons maybe this just happened to fall like that but it's two different images is that not the prettiest little thing and i do like putting the cardboard no heavy cardstock in the middle it that way it's a beautiful layout too <laughs> and it gives it more structure there's that snowman again so here i made another tuck spot with a tag and um, let me show you what I put in it so that's got pink and it's all about Christmas words happy traditions holiday Mary snow Santa and then here's some more <coughs> items and then that goes on there then right here is a pocket another one of the pockets and there is a tag and uh, seam binding pink and here is another little card and here it is opened and I got rid of the white line so that it matched real well and another little picture so that I really like let's see isn't that just gorgeous I mean I'm considering, I'm not considering, I'm going to print these individually into maybe a 5x7, 4x6, and I'm going to back them with <coughs> cardboard <coughs> and then lace, and I'm going to make Christmas tree <coughs> wall hangings. Johnny, will you get me a water? <coughs> I'm going to make little wall hangings for my Christmas tree, or plaques, because I my tree is traditional but a little bit of pink so I'm going to add more pink to it I'll be showing you that in the next couple days here is another little card and see I can even make it this size for the tree and cut this in half this um, I size down when I printed it but I mean there you go but it could be that size and once you add the lace but I think I'm going to do just a little bit bigger um, to make it a statement and another tag this is Anna Griffin tag and another little card so when you're cutting things apart um, think about hey let me make a card out of it so let me take a sip of water guys <clears throat> thank you we're almost done and I really appreciate you 
uh, hanging out with me for this very long video. <laughs> and then here is the back. So I made another tuck spot with pink and another little card holder, another tag, uh, postcard, and then this is another um, with the lace on it and everything. And and I've already showed you how to make these and I make them doubled so that you can really put quite a bit in there and here is the items so um, let's fit this right here and I'm really happy to show this I really enjoyed it it took me two days it took me longer well two days once I totally worked on it not you know not a lot of time but still I put more in it and I really love it I hope you like it as much as I do I'm gonna gift these away um, but I'm serious about that question I wish you would comment down below um, I never thought about that to sell stuff but uh, I don't know they're just to me they're so pretty so anyway thank you and have a blessed day